How much money do you spend each month on subscription services? Do you even know? What if I told you there are powerful, free alternatives for every single Adobe program? In today's video, I'm going to show you 18 of the most common ones and a free alternative for each one. I even did a whole spreadsheet. It'll be fun. Let's talk about it. First of all, let me start by saying I am not here to bash Adobe. I'm not affiliated or paid by any software mentioned in this video and do not claim any software mentioned here is better than the paid version of Adobe. If the Adobe suite of application works for you, I'm not here to change your mind. I will even agree if you use three or more of the tools in the Adobe Creative Suite, go ahead and get the full Creative Cloud subscription for $59.99 a month. Paying for each program with a separate subscription don't make sense for anyone. Me personally, I don't need all of the tools that are in the suite, so I can't justify paying the $60 a month subscription service. And I certainly don't want to subscribe to the two or three programs that I would use because then it would be more than the $60 a month. However, if you want some powerful creative editing tools and the $60 a month is not in your budget or you just can't justify the cost based on your individual use case, this video is for you. Full disclosure, I have not used 70% of the Adobe applications listed. They just aren't necessary for my workflows. So drop a comment on your thoughts of any of the programs you used and if there are viable alternatives. Let's get started. So to do this, I created a spreadsheet listing 18 of the applications in the Adobe suite. I used Google's Gemini, Microsoft's Copilot, and ChatGPT to generate a list of alternatives for all 18 programs. I was looking for a general consensus between the three language models as a starting point. From there, I came up with this list. I then got to work on the interwebs, researching each application to make my description and comparison for each free alternative. Some of the alternative programs cover more than one Adobe application, so you'll hear some more than once. And here are the results. Our first category is photo editing. First up, an alternative for Photoshop is GIMP, the ultimate free photo editing tool. GIMP offers advanced features like layer support, custom brushes, and plugins. Perfect for photo retouching or graphic design. In the same category, we have Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. For photographers managing raw images, try Darktable or Raw Therapy. Both provide professional grade photo editing workflows without the price tag of Lightroom. Our next category is graphic design and publishing. First up, we have Illustrator. An alternative for Illustrator is Inkscape. This vector editor is perfect for logos, illustrations, and more, with features comparable to Adobe's tool. In the same category, we have InDesign. If you create brochures, posters, or magazines, Scribus is the free alternative to InDesign. It's a powerful desktop publishing tool that can handle professional layouts. Next, we have Adobe Express. For quick designs and social media content, Canvas free version is perfect. It's intuitive, web-based, and great for creating flyers, posts, and presentations in minutes. Under the category of video editing and effects, Real quick, if you're finding value in this video so far, do me a favor and please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously and it enables me to grow the channel so I can bring you more content just like this. Okay, let's get back to the video. We have Premiere Pro. For video editors, DaVinci Resolve is unbeatable. The free version offers a full suite of editing tools, including color grading and audio adjustments. Next, we have After Effects. For motion graphics and effects, Blender is a solid choice. It's a 3D tool, but has a powerful video editor and effects engine for dynamic projects. 
Next up, media encoder. If you need to encode or compress videos, Handbrake is lightweight, efficient, and totally free. Next category is animation and drawing tools. First up is animate. For 2D animations, Synfig Studio offers a vector-based animation experience that rivals Adobe Animate. Next, we have Fresco. Krita is a fantastic tool for digital painting and illustrations designed specifically for artists and completely free. Moving right along, for character animation, Blender's robust tools bring your characters to life even in 3D. The next category is a short one for audio editing. For audio editing and recording, Audacity is a trusted free alternative. It's widely used for podcasts, voiceovers, and music production. This may be a good alternative for Adobe's Audition. Our next category is 3D modeling. We have Adobe's Dimension. If you're working with 3D models and rendering, Blender is an all-in-one solution. Create realistic renders, mock-ups, and even immersive experiences. Moving right along, our next category is productivity. We have Adobe Fonts. Switch to Google Fonts for free access to thousands of high-quality fonts for web and design projects. Next up, we have file management and PDF editing for Adobe Bridge. Digicam helps you manage and organize your photo library, making it a great free replacement for Adobe Bridge. Next, we have Acrobat Pro. If you're looking for an alternative for Acrobat Pro, check out PDF Gear or LibreOffice Draw. LibreOffice Draw is a little known secret with its PDF capabilities. Unlike other free PDF editors, both of these can actually edit text. In our final category, if you're looking into AI-generated art, an alternative for Adobe Firefly is Crayon, formerly known as Dolly Mini. It's a free option to experiment with creative prompts. And there you have it, 18 Adobe Creative Programs and some potential alternatives for each, if you choose. Let me know if you agree or disagree and leave your suggestions for any applications you would like me to do a deeper dive on. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me tremendously grow the channel. Check out these other video suggestions. Thank you for watching and until next time.